you are. Welcome. It is winter wonderland in Chicago once again. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Imran with Monster Gadgets and today we're talking about frame rates and what that means, how to use them, and yeah, let's get into it. So if you are a photographer or you understand pictures in general, think of video as a series of pictures. Basically what happens is if you grab the book and you, let me see, do I have a book? I do have a book, hold on. This is not my book, but we're gonna use it as an example. So if you've got a bunch of pictures together and you go like this through a book, it's gonna illustrate uh, a, a, some type of emotion, if you will. So as long as the pictures are done the right way, if you're flipping through pages real quickly like this, you might see that animation or photo in motion creating a sense of a video. And that's really what it is. So if you've got a camera that does 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, and some cameras even out there, I know some of the, the new GoPro does 210 frames per second, I believe. Um, and then of course, professional cameras can do a lot more than that. But think of it as those many clicks, your camera's taking pictures, if you will, per second to create a video clip. So if you, know, if you, wanna, if you want your videos to be like the cinematic type of look, most videos are shot at 24 frames per second, so that's the setting that you wanna use. But if you get into some of the higher frame rates, for example, like the 30 FPS frames per second, uh, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, what that allows you to do is that allows you to slow your video down. So if you wanna be able to capture slow motion, the faster frame rates that you have, the clear crisp that video is gonna be when you turn it down into slow motion. So if you're capturing it at 120 frames per second, that's what I capture most of my um, videos on for, for slow motion, then you'll be able to show that slow motion that much more clear, that much more crisp. But if you shot that same slow motion, that same video, I should say, in 24 frames per second, then you try to slow it down, well, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna have enough pictures for it to look smooth. So your computer is gonna try to generate you know, some frames per second, it's gonna seem a little bit blurry, and then you're not gonna be able to see it as crisp. So in my B-roll that I shot earlier, which you guys see in the intro, uh, basically that video was shot at 60 frames per second as well as 120 frames per second. And I wanted to, what I wanted to be able to do is I wanted to be able to slow it down into different rates. So I'll do a separate video on how you can combine the different frame rates that you use into one video and how to properly do that. I'll do that video next, uh, probably next week. But in general, you want to prep for what you're shooting. So if you know you're going to capture a moment that you want to be able to slow down, you want to turn that frame rate up, crank it up. So that way when you go into post, you know exactly what to do, how you're going to slow it down. And when you do slow it down, it's going to look that much more professional, that much more crisp. But if you're shooting general video, for example, an interview of some sort, uh, or just normal video where people aren't really moving around a whole lot and you want to be able to capture audio, then you want to use either 24 frames per second or that 30 frames per second. Again, anything higher, 60, 120, yes, you can shoot at those frame rates and still be able to record audio and video, but really you want to be able to use those in moments where you want to use slow motion. Otherwise, if you use those higher frame rates, they don't give you that clean, professional, cinematic look in your video. So for example, right now I'm using 24 frames per second um, because I'm pretty much still and just talking to you guys as my audience, there's not a whole lot of motion going on, so I don't need to crank it up to go any higher. Now, if you were shooting something that is fast moving, like sports and other events, and you wanna be able to capture them without that motion blur, then you wanna crank that up to 60 or 120. Doesn't mean you have to use slow motion, but that just means that you're capturing more, again, more pictures per second. So something that's in motion, it's gonna seem that much more cleaner on a setting that's much higher. So as a quick recap, general video that you're doing just as interviews, everyday type of video, uh, with a lot, without a lot of motion, you wanna use 24 or 30 frames per second. If you want that true cinematic look, then use a 24 frames per second. But if you got a lot of fast motion, uh, sporting events, those type of things, or if you wanna be able to post, in post, slow your video on to slow motion, then you wanna use 60, 120, or maybe even faster, depending on how you wanna slow that video down. So 
Hopefully this was helpful. I will go ahead and do another video next week on demonstrating how to combine those two different frame rates into post-production. Again, as you guys know, or you might know, I use Adobe Premiere to do all my editing. So I'll get into Adobe Premiere in that video, show you guys how to combine those rates, frame rates into one video. So everything loose, looks super, super smooth and your videos look professional. So, all right guys, hopefully you found that to be helpful. I do wanna quickly touch on a video I did earlier in the week on reaching 100 subscribers. You guys absolutely blew it away. I set up a contest for $100 giveaway, two dollars gift cards uh, to my subscribers, and I will go ahead and link that in the video here on the card as well as in the description below. Check it out, but as of right now, we're sitting at about 210 subscribers. I did mention that if we reach uh, 1,000 subscribers by uh, March 9th, I will do a digital SLR camera giveaway. So I think we're gonna be able to achieve that if you keep going at this pace, because even in the last four days, uh, we've gone from 100 subscribers to 210 subscribers. So I have absolutely no doubt that we'll be able to get to uh, 1,000 subscribers. So if you are a subscriber, please share my video with your friends, colleagues, and let's get to 1,000 subscribers. That way you have a chance to win a brand new digital SLR camera. So. That's it. Hopefully you guys will have a wonderful day wherever you are. And please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any of my awesome videos. And I will see you later. Goodbye.